Hey kids, it's Mr. Alexander. You know what? I was going to do another awesome drawing lesson, but then I thought, no way, Jose. I'm going on a vacay today. <coughs> so, I thought instead, I'm going to have my pet shark teach the lesson. His name's Artie. Say hello to the nice kids, Artie. Hello to the nice kids, Artie. Oh, ha, ha. Do you think you can manage teaching this lesson today? Are you kidding? Does a shark have 300 teeth? Mm. The answer's yes. Oh, I, I didn't know. All right, kids. Well, let's get started with today's art lesson. All right, kiddos. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a piece of paper like this one, and you're also probably going to need a pencil like that. Now, before we get started, let's spend a little bit of time practicing our letter B's. You know, the great thing about the letter B is that it actually works for two words for these pictures that we're going to be doing. The first word that we're going to be doing that starts with a letter B is bat. No, not the kind of bat that flies through the air. We're talking about the kind of bat you use in baseball or t-ball or softball. And the other B word that we're going to use is for, well, the word ball. So B's real handy like that, and it's real convenient. It's also used in the word baseball twice. Now, when you practice your letter V's, remember, you want to make sure that you're holding your pencil correctly. Now, the correct way to hold your pencil is with your index, the next finger, which is the middle finger, and then also your thumb. Now, all I got is this big flipper, this fin here, so I can't really show you a good example of that, but you get the idea. Now, let's practice your letter V's. What you want to do for your letter V? You want to do a nice long line there, up and down. It's vertical, all right? I say vertical, I guess as they say in Espanol, right? And then you're going to come over here and you're going to do a nice circle, left to right. There you go. Very simple letter B. Let's go over here and try this again, all right? I say letra V. All right, so we're gonna come over here. You always write your words just like you should learn to read from left to right. So let's go over here. We're gonna do our top to bottom line right there. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do a circle, finish up the letter B. Notice I did that from top to bottom and left to right. Let's try that one more time. Gonna come over here, gonna put your line. Well, that wasn't a very straight line, but uh, Maybe my flipper must be, be tired or something. So I'm going to come over here and then we do a circle top to bottom, left to right. Wow, that just looks truly awful. Hmm, I must have sprained my fin or something. All right, well, let's go ahead and come over here and let's get a nice clean piece of paper. So you take your drawing item here and we want to do this letter B, real big like, even though it's a lowercase letter B. Es son letra B minuscula, okay? But we want to do it real big on the whole paper here. So let's come over here. We're going to do your line nice and straight from top to bottom. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to do that circle, right? We're going to come over here top to bottom, left to right touch that line and close it off. Looks like I, I kind of got a little too close there. So we'll finish that off. So you got a nice looking letter B. Now we're going to turn this into a bat and a ball. We're going to come right here. We're going to draw the number one. And you want to make sure that number one is as tall as your letter B. I say numero uno. So let's come over here. We're going to do a little space over here, and we're going to do your number one right next to it. Okay, so it looks nice and even. Now, we're going to take this here. 
we're going to come over to this side of the... Well, actually, we'll, we'll hold off on this side of the ball because I'm going to show you something with that later. Now, what we want to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to turn the paper all the way around so that your B is upside down. Okay, so you got your upside down letter B and you got your... Well, it's an upside down one, but it pretty much looks the same, right? Right? Okay, so... What we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a long, skinny letter V right here. We're gonna start at this top all the way, skinny letter V, come back up, and let's touch that other line there. All right, real, that, that, that's, that's real good there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna come over here, we're gonna do a small oval. That's that, that, that's that you know, close off, kind of a squished circle shape that you got there. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do some minus signs. So right there where you, you had your V end in there, we're gonna put a line right there. And you put that line there. And then you're gonna come over here and close that off with some more lines there. Yeah, that's real good, like. Now let's take this. We're gonna turn this again. So it looks like this. You can already see this is gonna be our ball. And this here is gonna be our bat. And we're going to close off the end of this bat with a nice skinny letter C. Just kind of put that C, close it off. We've got a nice bat and a nice ball. Now, normally this is where I'd start coloring the bat. But first, we got some things we want to do to this ball. You want to take yourself, well, there goes my writing utensil. All right, you're going to take yourself a marker or, you know, any kind of coloring device crayons, color pencil, whatever floats your boat. So you take this, you're gonna use red for this one. All right, now what you wanna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna do a letter C right here on the side of the ball. So you close that off just like so. And let's put some stitches in here. Just do some simple lines right across it there. Yeah, that's real good, yeah. All right, now you're gonna take this now you're gonna turn it all the way around. So now the bat's on the bottom and the ball's on the top. You're gonna do another letter C right here. Close that off, give it some stitches all the way across there. And then all you gotta do is color in your bat. Well, there you go, kids. You've just made a bat and a ball and you did it with a very simple start with a letter B. Well, I hope your kids are staying at home, staying safe, keeping your fins sanitized and washed every day, and also don't forget to wear your mask when you're outside. Till then, stay safe, be kind to everybody that you meet, and we'll see you later. Goodbye now.